Just that's just my two cents. All right, I had another question here and I went super overboard with that one, but we are coming out with a cap course. I've been asked that many, uh, probably once a week, somebody asked me about that. So it's coming. I can't say it's going to come soon. It's a lot of work for us to do and we're working on it. And I've got three other people working on it with me. So we've got stuff to work out on that. Okay. Next question is, let me say first, thank you for what you do. Wow. I really enjoy your courses and your teaching style. You have really been a big help for me to learn the risk management framework process. I wish you much success in continuing to bring forth this needed information. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate the compliments. Um, that means I'm going in the right direction, I hope. I can tell you that there's not a lot of quality, in-depth information on risk management framework out there. So please keep doing your best to bring this content forward if possible. Yes, I intend to. I am interested in investing in two of your courses, Risk Management Framework Foundations and Security Control Documentation. I wanted to ask if you cover the process procedure for on developing the SLCM, that's continuous monitoring, that's system level continuous monitoring strategy. In any case, in any of those courses, yes, I do. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And it, say, it goes on to say, I have been assigned the task on my job and it's something I have never done before in my brief time in risk management framework. So I'm looking for any information on the process and steps applicable to documentation uh, needed to support the strategy plan. Okay. I would appreciate it if you would let me know if this specific area is addressed in any of the courses. Yes. Okay. Now I've already responded to Mr. Andre, but I would like to just show, because I know this is, this may be a question that other people are going to ask. So what I'll do is let me just switch over so you can see what I'm seeing here and uh, show you exactly where I cover this and how much of it I cover. Okay. First of all, the one that it's in is the risk management framework ISO course that we discussed earlier and it is part of this whole process and where I talk about it if you go down it's actually one of the actual phases and one of the steps that you do in risk management framework so I have to cover it is monitor right here this one right here and you can show you the content of where I cover this information so there's a video that I do for this and there's a couple downloadables that go into this and my plan is to expand on this and go into greater detail about risk management frameworks interpretation of continuous monitoring and what you do i have a lot to say on this this is something i've done in my career with multiple departments multiple agencies and so each one does it differently that's what i'll how i'll put it like each one has their own documentation style some of them have like a database that they use and you continuously you monitor each one of the security controls on that database some of them have like a spreadsheet which sucks but they still use spreadsheets and they'll have like a breakdown of all the controls and you'll have to figure out and monitor the security controls on that on that documentation. Now, you said that your the organization that you work for already has a strategy. So, really all you want to do is follow is read through their security policy first of all and then pay specific attention to their strategy on continuous monitoring cuz it's going to tell you the frequency of how often they look at those controls. It's going to tell you that. It's going to look at it's going to tell you what kind of documentation, if it's very thorough, it's going to tell you what kind of things that they expect when you're doing continuous monitoring. And then the organization will have some sort of a document or a database or something that they use to actually track all continuous monitoring. It may be EMAS, it may be Exacta, it may be Archer. It may be, there's all kinds of systems out there that organ, large organizations use, but in those gigantic databases that are collecting all this and managing all this data and governing all this information, 
that's where you're going to do the continuous monitoring. But some smaller organizations are still on the actual uh, spreadsheets. And let me see what let me see if I can do something here. I would like to show you like a live quick live demonstration of what this document might look like. I have done this before on different videos. And so I would like to show you kind of what I'm talking about when I talk about continuous monitoring. Just to give you an example. So again, the frequency is something that's determined. It's not determined by you, it's determined by the organization. And that frequency could be once a year, can be twice a year, but they're the ones, but the organization's the one that determine that. So that's one of the main things as an ISO that you have to figure out. Like what when are they putting this forward? Like what uh, what is our frequency and then it's like okay how are we actually doing this like what what is the process of actually doing this and I'm not I'm actually not seeing it here you know what I'll do I think what I'll do is just go ahead and do a complete uh, separate video on continuous monitoring I think that's what I'll do and I'll expand on my actual course on continuous monitoring I have it it's just not on this drive I think I think that I really need to go in in more detail on that so I that's my promise to you I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I do not right now on this system have it but I do have it somewhere <laughs> all right let me I'm gonna go on to the next question here 